Okay, today we have a, a Isuzu truck at on the ray mode and I'm gonna diagnose it and fix the problem. So take a look. The truck it's on the rate. It's five miles per hour is on the rate, okay? So right here you cannot be guessing. It's few mechanics they be dropping the PFs, cleaning out, and they think that the truck is gonna fix that way. There is no way to fix that way. The only way to fix it is you gotta scan the codes, put the computer, and see what the codes you have. From there, you can be able to diagnose it, but, but see like those lights? That means it's, uh, it's some problem on the CR. You gotta scan. And you cannot just drop the DPFs, send to clean it out, and put it back, and you expect that the truck is gonna back, come back to normal, no. And, and I had few mechanics, they did that. And they have to call another guy who had the computer to be able to reset. And they find out that there's not a problem, that it's, it's just a simple sensor. And you replace it and that's it. So make the customer um, spend more money for a little thing. So I'm just gonna show you on this truck. That like you see the truck is on the rate five miles per hour so definitely we got the computer see the computer is right there that's the program double click okay so that's the program okay so now we got the auto detect Take and we go to sorry about that. We're gonna go to scan tool and we're gonna go DTC. Okay, that's the code right there. Look, the first one I don't worry about the P20C9 diesel exhaust fluid control module request. The real code is on diesel exhaust fluid P20AE diesel exhaust fluid injector stock. That's right there the code. So I don't want I don't worry about the the first code. The code the first one it's related to the second code. So P20EE uh, it's exhaust fluid injector stock. So right there's the problem. The F injector is no good. It's a stock. What I can do it, uh, I can do a test, but uh, with a simple code right there, it's, the DF injector is the stock, so that means the F injector is no good. I have to replace it, reset it, but you can check right here, it's uh, give you more information about that code, you see. Injector attach it to locate to the DPA housing, so, so they give you a... Uh, a procedure to do it what you have to do what it is you have to do and I'll replace okay right here so because I have a lot of experience on that so I mean I have to replace it in the F injector so but if you don't have a experience you can follow in that troubleshooting and find out and so even that show you the picture See where it's located right here. So yeah, you have to replace that. When you replace that DF injector, it's a uh, clips, plastic clips. So very, very, very careful when you when you take it out because many mechanics they break that. So it's just a clip. You gotta press it and have to remove it very, very carefully with that. So that's a plastics. So I'm gonna show you on the mofle. I'm gonna come out and show you with exactly that, okay? Okay, now we are on the part of the mofle. Okay. So that's the mofle, that's the SCR, that's the DPF, knock sensor inlet, knock sensor outlet. They call knock sensor one and knock sensor two. Okay, so the DF injectors right here. That's the DF injector. 
it's no good we have to replace that so you see the plastic one right here you see okay you see the plastic one right there that's very fragile so you have to press it together and pull up very very careful the medium mechanic just pry just come with a screwdriver primer up and sometimes they break this plastic so they have to replace the whole line so you gotta be very very, very careful with that sometimes this one is hard to remove it what i do is i take the the whole fitting a 17 when the with the, with the wrench 17 you can remove the whole thing and i know it's gonna leak coolant but uh, there is no other option if it's too hard to remove it so you avoid it to break the plastic instead of the replacing the whole line or just dumping the coolant that's two options that's another option but that's the part we're gonna replace it we will replace that part and then we're gonna come to reset the course do region and try good to go okay okay we got the part see we got the DF injector and also I'm gonna replace the filter okay so that's the thing I have to replace it okay let's see First thing is we gotta take this cover out. Okay. So here you go, right here. And the injector. Okay. Now right here. Okay. Better this one now. I do is I bend this one. That's it. Bend that one. Okay, now I got my tool. See, this is the tool what I have. So, like you see, right here has two clips. You see, one clip right here and one clip in the bottom. So, some, when it's new, you can press it and pull. See, let me see. You press it. And pull. But this one doesn't come out. This is just stuck. Oh no, it's loose. You see? Okay, just press it. Okay, you see? So it's two clips. One in the top, one in the bottom. You press it together and pull. Okay. So that's the DF fluid. I don't worry about that. Cooling this right here. Okay, cooling. Both of them are cooling. Let me see if it come out too. See, press it. No, there's something wrong right there. Okay, this one is harder. Okay, that that one is harder. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the tool. See? Okay, now I'm gonna see pull out. Okay. See. the clips okay I don't take all the way out because it's cooling right there so what I do is I take it a little bit out I take the three knots ten knots and then when I got the injector out I pull up both of them faster I can I put the new one so I don't I don't waste a lot of coolant that's the way I do. So in the back is a little bit harder. I have no idea. 
Now you guys can see it. Let me see what I do it. See, I put a new one. That's it. So remember, these only these one are plastic, so that's why it's you gotta take it out. It's very careful with this one because it, it breaks. As soon as you break the line, forget. You have to replace the whole line. So most of the guys what I do is they they put a a hose with the clamp, but it's it's a risk because uh, when you drive it, you don't know if uh, it's gonna break or it's gonna pop. So it's gonna lose all the coolant. So. You gotta be very careful with that. simple okay so now we're gonna replace that filter on the bottom of the VF pump okay so the filter goes right here on the bottom of the the the, the VF pump okay it's 27 range or 116 range 12 points you screw it that's it take it out filter and put it back that's it Okay, now after we replace the DF injector and the air filter, let's see, start the truck. Okay, you see, the, the coal doesn't go away. You definitely, 100% you need a computer, so we set those codes. Okay. Let's see, let's go with the computer. Go the tech. To scan tool, then we go DTC, and then okay, then we're gonna go clear out the code, clear all the codes, and that's it. Okay. Okay, no codes, no codes, okay. We come back, now we close the switch. Now we start up the truck. Okay, truck back to normal, okay. Back to normal. That's what all your change, okay, so don't worry about that. Oil change. So I can see it right here. Pressure. Steering. Okay, that's how you fix the truck. All right. See you next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, I will keep doing more videos, see you.